Hey there, Austin from Get Real Studios here with you. And today what we're going to be working with is the program GIMP on a subject called Perspective. Okay, let's go ahead and open a new document. Okay, and you can just do that by going to File New. Any size will do. And what we'll do is start off by creating a new layer, Transparency. Click OK. And what we're going to do is grab our circular selection. We'll just draw a circle right here. Okay, click inside the middle and grab our bucket fill tool. All right, and just click it black. All right, now that we've done that, go to select none. Okay, and we'll create another layer. Okay, and we'll fill this also down in the other end, just with another circle, just like this. All right, grab your bucket tool, fill it again. All right, select none again, <laughs> and let's go down to our background layer. Grab our paint brush, and what we'll do is grab the default brush for GIMP, which is called Sparks. Its uh, its icon is this little sun type looking thing. All right, and we we'll click Use Color from Gradient, and I chose the gradient Deep Sea. Okay, and there's a bunch of them that you can choose from. I just chose deep sea because blue is pretty much my favorite color. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is turn the scale up all the way. And we'll just kind of paint around with it. Just like this. Alright. And now, for the magic part, we are going to go up to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, while our background layer is selected. And we're going to go and the blur amount is going to be 100. All right, we're going to let that load. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go to the other layer. Okay, and we'll go up to filters, reshow Gaussian blur. All right. And we'll go over here. 100 is just a little bit too much. We kind of want this to differ. So let's go down to 50 around 50 that is okay and the other layer the top layer we're gonna go up to filters reshow again okay now that we've done that we're gonna turn this to 110 click OK alrighty and there we go now for the final part of this tutorial what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab our text tool we're gonna draw draw a text box and type in your whatever you'd like that is all right and I'm just gonna adjust that just like that all right trim it up okay let's close that and there you have it you have a beautiful perspective um, image so as you can see we've blurred around here and we just kind of made it look like the text is standing out because um, your eye tends to focus on the most in focus um, part of an image. So this is a real eye catcher and a really neat trick to learn in GIMP that you can show off to all your friends. Okay, so I would love to see your guys' work. Um, post a URL or a video response to this tutorial and I'll definitely go check it out. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Look out for more from GetRealStudio.com or our YouTube page. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.